Hey guys, Into Weapons back again with you. Made it out to the range today. It's actually going to be a uh, nice 27 degrees today. So I thought, hey, why not come out and enjoy the beautiful weather we have here in Wisconsin. We'll go ahead and uh, put a few rounds to the SLR101S that uh, many of you are familiar with. I just recently put the video out there of me getting that from Pete at the Armory Channel. I got the uh, short mag and the 30 round Bulgarian mag and uh, the reason I bought the short mag is because I'll be using uh, a stand today to try to put some rounds through the 100 yard target that I set up down there, way down there. It's the green one on the very right hand side. We'll see if we can get rounds in a, a good grouping down there. And I also set a uh, reactive target, or I should say a splatter target, at the 50 yard berm. So we've got a couple targets out there. We'll see how well this, uh, this gun stacks up on accuracy. See if Pete did a pretty decent job of sighting it in, which I'm sure he did. He said he put a lot of lead through it, so I don't doubt it. Got my spotting scope, and the ammo I'll be using today is the WPA Military Classic, uh, non-corrosive, 124 grain hollow point. If we're going to have any problems feeding or anything like that, it's going to be with a hollow point. So I like to use this ammunition as kind of a, a trial ammunition to make sure that everything's going to run right with other types of ammunition beyond just hollow points. So... That's pretty much it guys, let's go ahead and put some rounds down range and see how we do. Hey guys, thought I would show you here what I'm dealing with. It's hard to get a good stand when I'm actually doing some standing and shooting because we just got a ice rink of ice here that is covering pretty much the whole floor of the firing range. It's kind of cool actually is uh, the casings come out, they melt their way into the ice like that and 
freeze right back over and makes it impossible to pull those guys right out. But uh, this ice is pretty pretty built up here. You can see this chairs in there pretty good. So I'm actually able to get it out, which is surprising. Coming up a little bit here. We got plenty of ice though. Hopefully that'll melt off sometime soon and we'll clear this out a little bit. Alright guys, grab the targets and we'll take a look at those. Alright, so this is what we got guys. It's the target at 100 yards. The first five rounds that I put through at 100 yards wasn't even on paper. So I went back to my 50-yard uh, target and kind of went from there. And the first few rounds that I had were uh, trending really high. I believe these were the guys up here, that first four or five, maybe one right off the paper. So I started aiming a little low, and if you're looking at this target, I was actually aiming probably a good six or seven inches low on this target. And that's where the remainder of this group came from. And then I went back to my 100-yard target, did the same thing, aimed, you know, a good six, seven inches low, and uh, they started hitting paper right around that right elevation. I think right to left is probably okay. I don't really have a good, accurate sight picture with this um, parabellum and armament upper rail there. I think that has something to do with it. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of that. Might end up taking it off, putting on the regular sight and seeing if I can do much better, but being that I can't adjust that um, and having to aim so much lower on that, uh, it's obviously going to need something to be fixed on it. So that's pretty much where we're at, guys. At least that was on paper once I figured out where I needed to, to aim it, but that's, uh, that's where we're at. You guys have any questions? Go ahead and let me know. Otherwise, as always, I appreciate you watching. Until next time, take it easy.